The district level election involves electing assembly and unit committee members to oversee district development in the country. Elected members have a four year tenure, but low turnouts have often been a concern. This year's election is scheduled for December 19. The DME will be conducted in all 6,272 electoral areas in all districts, with the exception of Inkranza North and Inkranza South in the Bono East region. The DLE for the two districts was not held in 2019 for security reasons. As such, the elections would not be held in both districts until 2025. As a commission, we encourage voters to take advantage of the voters registration exercise and register to vote. We also entreat the citizenry to participate actively the commission says preparations are underway for a smooth exercise targeting 60% turnout. The EC also announced that a voter registration exercise for persons who have turned 18 years will commence on September 12 and end on October 2. The exercise will run at all 268 district offices nationwide for both online and offline. Article 45A mandates the Electoral Commission to compile the register of voters at such periods that may be determined by law. It is in the discharge of this mandate and as part of the Commission's preparations towards the conduct of the 2023 district level elections that the Commission will undertake a voters registration exercise. The exercise will be held between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. each day, including Saturdays and Sundays. Each district office will serve as a registration center. Meanwhile, the EC chairperson, Jane Mensa has reaffirmed the commission's decision to use a Ghana card as a sole voter registration document in the new CI and eliminate the guarantor system despite parliament's disapproval. The commission has not undertaken a voter's registration exercise since the last one in 2020. This means that we are seeking to add to our register some 1,350,000 persons. Therefore, we do not believe that upholding LI2111 and enforcing the use of the Ghana card to prove a person's citizenship will lead to disenfranchising citizens, as is being alleged by sections of our society. As a commission, we find it unfortunate that our efforts to strengthen the credibility and integrity of our voters' register and by extension, our elections, by the introduction of the draft CI, did not receive the support of Parliament. The Commission says it currently has 17,270,000 voters on its register and expecting to register 1,350,000 persons by the end of the year.